Welcome viewers. In this video, we'll see the solved problem based on the losses and efficiency of the DC generator part 3. Subscribe the channel for more videos. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we'll go to the problem. The following data pertains to a sorts and compound generator. So this problem is based on the sorts and compound generator. The armature resistance is 0.04 ohm. Series field resistance is 0.025 ohm. Sun field resistance is 45 ohm. So the compound generator means we have both series field as well as sun field. Then contact drop per brush is 1 voltage. The magnetic loss is 2.5 kilowatt. Mechanical loss is 1 kilowatt. Right? The mechan mechanical loss and magnetic loss are given. Find the efficiency of the generator when it is delivered 400 amp at a 440 voltage. Right? We need to find the efficiency of the generator when it is delivered 400 ampere at a voltage of 440 voltage. Right? I will see the analyze the data. What are the given data available? So the armature resistance is given 0 0.04 ohm. Series field resistant 0.25 ohm. Sun field resistant 45 ohm. Contact drop per brush. There are one voltage. But there are two brushes available. So the total brush drop equal to 1 into 2, 2 voltage. The mag magnetic loss is 2.5 kilowatt. That is 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 watts. Then mechanical loss is 1 kilowatt. That is equal to 1 into 10 to the power 3 watts. Kilo mean we need to multiply with 10 to the power 3. The load current is 400 ampere. The voltage, terminal voltage is 440 voltage. Now we need to find the efficiency. Our final aim is to find the efficiency. First we will find the power output. What is the output power of this generator? So the output power can be calculated terminal voltage and load current. These two data are available. Terminal voltage and load current. 440 into 400 ampere. So that it is 1,76,000 watts. Right, 1,76,000 watts is the power output from is calculated from terminal voltage and load current. For a short sun generator, compound generator, ISH is nothing but VSH divided by RSH. So this VSH is nothing but V plus ISE into RSE divided by RSH. Because short sun means the sun field is connected immediately thereafter series field will be connected. So the terminal voltage plus series field voltage is nothing but sun field voltage, right? So V plus ISC RSC divided by RSH. Then ISC equal to IL. The same current ISC is flowing through the load. Both are equal. So that is equal to 400 ampere. IL is already given. So ISC also it is equals is 400 ampere. Now so from that we can calculate ISC. V plus ISC RSC divided by RSH, V is 440 voltage plus ISC is 400 ampere, RSC is 0 0.025 divided by RSH is 45. So by simplifying that we got ISC equal to 10 ampere. Now we'll, from that we can find the armature current, IA equal to IL plus ISH, right? For a short sun generator, the current is split into sun field as well as load current that is series field and load current are equal so il plus ish will give the ia so il is already given 400 ampere ish we calculated 10 ampere so 400 plus 10 will get 410 ampere now we got the value of armature current from this we can calculate the losses one by one So armature copper loss equal to IA square into RA. IA is already we calculated 410 ampere. So 410 square into RA is 0.04. That is equal to 6724 6, watts. So the armature copper loss is 6724 watts. Then sun field copper loss. IS sketch square into R sketch. Right? So the IS sketch is already calculated 10 ampere. So 10 square into 45 that is equal to 4500 watts. The copper loss in the sun field, sun field copper loss 4500 watts. 
then series field copper loss isc square into rsc isc is equal to il both are same so it is 400 square into 0.025 that is equal to 4000 watts right so we calculated the armature copper loss sun field copper loss series field copper loss now the brush loss is vb into ia the total brush drop is 2 voltage into ia ia is 410 ampere so 820 watts so the 820 watts is dropped in the brushes brush loss right now we calculate the four different losses right now we'll calculate the total loss the total loss is nothing but armature copper loss sun field copper loss series field copper loss magnetic loss mechanical loss and brush loss right so by adding all this we can get the total loss all these values are available armature copper loss we calculated 6724 sun field copper loss also we calculated 4500 series field copper loss we calculated 4000 4, watts right magnetic loss that is the brush loss is 820 then magnetic loss is given 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 then mechanical loss also given 1 into 10 to the power 3 right so by adding all we can get this we can get the total loss 19,544 watts right the total loss in the generator is 19,544 watts now we already calculated the power input output power we already calculated from terminal voltage and load current now we got the losses right so from that we can find the power input power input is nothing but output power plus losses when the power is given some of the power is lost the remaining power is, is given as a output power so by adding the output power and loss we will get the total power input given to the generator right so these two data are available so 1,76,000 is the power output plus 19,054, 19,544 is the total loss we calculated. So by adding this 1,95,544 watts is the power input given to the DC generator. right? So this is the power input and this is the power output. So in between we have losses. In this power input after the loss this is the power output now we got the value of output power as well as input power so that we can calculate the efficiency so efficiency is nothing but output power divided by input power into 100 output power is 176000 divided by input power is 195544 into 100 right this value just now we calculated so by simplifying this what we got 90 percentage the efficiency of this shorts and generator is 90 percentage right so in this problem first we calculated the power output then we calculated the armature current value by using the armature current and sun field current current values are calculated from that we calculated armature copper loss sun field copper loss series field copper loss from that we can calculate that the total losses that is nothing but armature copper loss sun field copper loss series field copper loss stray loss that is the mechanical loss magnetic loss brush loss right once you calculated the loss simply we can calculate the input input is nothing but output plus losses right so with the value of power input and power output we calculated the efficiency that is 90 percentage subscribe the channel for more videos soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening